Okay, now let's go back and test some other flowers and look at the table we have here yeah so as we talked about it before we have n and d values and here's the table so we have n's running from one to seven and then and the d, d from the side okay now that we have this circle Sakina so is going to show us how this is not a line but in fact it's just a bunch of points yeah okay so in order to do that we're going to have to increase theta until it shows dots. So, do you have a number in mind that you think would do it? Um, let's try 0 0.01. Okay. So change the theta down here to 0 0.01. And let's see what we get here. Hmm, may have to make it a little bit bigger. How about 0 0.05? Sounds good. Let's see. Ooh, that's cool. And so it makes like those dots first and then it goes around the different dots and around and around and that's so what makes it look like it's actually a line when it's just points due to our sine and cosine values. Okay, now that we looked at this simplest function we can have, a circle, let's test out different values of n and d. So if make it we a little bit more complicated. go back to our page, we have this table that we started out with and we have the values n running from 1 to 7 mm -hmm. and then we have values of d running this way and depending on what your n and d are it's supposed to create different flowers. different flowers. So let's look. So looks like our first one is going to be n is equal to 2 and d is equal to 1 and we're supposed to get the flower that is squared here or circled and so let's test our code and see if we get that to make sure everything's working correctly. Okay, so we gotta change n to be equal to 2. And let's play it. Ooh, I did the daddy thing again. So cool. So yeah, we can see that every time the draw function is run, we have little dots. Mm -hmm. Which eventually turn into lines. Yeah, because we have more and more dots created. Okay, so that looks like something we had on the table. Yep. Let's looks go exactly like it. back and try maybe something else. Okay. So then for the next one, it says let's try by changing n to 3 and again keeping d as 1 to see if we get this that gorgeous pattern there. Right here. Okay. So we're going to go back to our code and set n equal to 3. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that one went like really fast. So this looks like exactly what we thought it was going to look like from going to the other one. So I guess we can try out some different options now. Okay, let's go see what we can do. Okay, so this whole time you've been changing our, changing our n value, but what happens if we change our d values? It's still going to work. So right now our n is set to 3. Let's see what happens if we change d to from 1 to 2. According to this table, it's going to look like this flower. Looks like an eight leaf clover. <laughs> so let's change it to two. Ooh, okay, that does look like a pattern we saw on the table. Mm -hmm. Ooh, fancy. So yay, now we know what works when we change N as well as when we change D. So are there anything else that we can test out? Okay, let's look at, again, go back to us changing the value of increasing theta and we can see how, depending on what that value is, our function is going to be running faster or slower. So let's go back and change it to 0 0.05. Okay. We see that it goes slower, but at the same time, it draws the points more close to each other. Mm -hmm. So we don't have those little holes that are getting filled in later and stuff they're getting filled in right away. But we don't see a pattern until the end because it is going slower. Yep. But it's still doing the same thing as when you had it going faster. Yeah, and if we change theta, um, the increase of theta by uh, to a higher number, it's going to run faster and we'll see the basic outline and then it's going to fill in the other dots. Okay, so yeah, yeah, we are getting the same flower as we were expected. To that get. means everything is working correctly. There's also different options here. Where's it at? 
oh sorry <laughs> different options there that you can like use to see you know how fast can it go to make the dots how slow can it go to make the line it's really all up to you you can have fun exploring those different options how about we try to use some values that are not in the table and okay. also we encourage you to try something that we're not trying and that's not in the table mm -hmm. so what would you like to try let's make n equal to 20 Ooh. and then d equal to 15. okay let's increase our theta yes so make sure it goes fast so we'll go back to Every time we do a drop function at the end, it's going to increase theta by um, 0 0.05 radians, mm -hmm. and then draw another point, and another, and another, and going to keep increasing our theta. Okay, let's see how that goes. Okay, so we see that it's going fast. Yeah. I wasn't sure what to expect, but it looks cool. Okay, I think for this function we use a smaller theta and yeah. then as it goes it actually completes the same dot instead of filling in Different the ones dots. in between. So it mm -hmm. instead of overlining and filling in it just goes over the same dots. Still cool. I like the design. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got this kind of like rose fill. Yeah, it reminds me of the mandala flower. Yeah. Yeah, it's really pretty. So then, since we like experiment with different ways to change the N and D, would you like to plug in some answers? Well, some numbers to see what you'll get. Okay, let's try making our N equal to, let's do 17, and our D equal to 3. Oh. Oh, that's, that's fancy. Oh. That's going to look <laughs> like a daisy yeah. with a lot of leaves. That is so cool. Okay, now, because we're talking about flowers, black and white are kind of boring. <laughs> yeah, and what, what flowers I are use, black and white? I love colorful flowers. So Same. how about we try to change the color of those flowers? Oh yeah, that'll be cool. And I think from what I'm understanding, in order to do that, we have to go to our flower color and our- Let me zoom in. Yes, right here, the flower color that's right there. And as you see, it's all set to 170 which means that it's the color of gray and the background and set all to zero, which means it's black. And in order to find out what colors you want to use, there's something called a color slider. Then you just type in on Google and it'll show you the numbers to give you, you know, whatever color that you want. So I'm gonna have Katie here Google that and then we can So if you choose. use a color slider, you can go, let's say we're trying to make your red flower and then we'll scroll it over. Ooh, that's a and if you look, right here it gives you three numbers mm -hmm. i'm gonna zoom in on them those are your rgb values r stands for red green, uh, g stands for green and b stands for blue mm -hmm. and it basically describes how many of each color is in that color and it creates a color so let's say we're trying to use this red color we have 188 13 and 27. Yep. so we will go back to our editor and then we would just change all the numbers was it 183 number. yeah i think it was 183 uh, Let's something see. in 27 <laughs> 188 13 oh and 27 okay so 188 13 and 27 and then once we punch that in and we run the code it's going to show a flower with that color and you can try to choose your colors Ooh. When That's you're working okay. at home, so just try different values, look over the slider. And choose whatever colors you want. You can even change the background color by doing the same concept. Of, you know, just go into the background code and change the numbers you want for whatever color. So I'm going to make the background be this teal greenish color, which is 13, 188, and 179. So we're going to go back over here and do 13, oops, 13. 188 and 179 and 179 okay 179 well, and let's then try to run the program Ooh. so we see that the background color changed to the color that is over here so all is well i think it's pretty cool so that's some cool things that you can do with this mathematical flower to customize it to your taste Okay, so now we're done playing with colors. I'm sure you want to like keep all your creations so you can show people. And how you can do that is you can save it 
to a PNG once it gets to a certain value. And how we're gonna do that is we're going to take this here and copy it and paste it in our draw function here. And as you see, the PNG will be created once theta becomes bigger than two times pi. So let's go and run this and see if we get a PNG that saves automatically to our desktop. Oh, and look, it saved right then and there. So we see we have our flower here and it's not complete because it has a lot of dots. So what we're gonna do is change our theta plus equal function down here to 0 0.05 to see if that changes anything. And as we see the dots are a little bit more closer together, which is a good sign that we're going in the right direction. And let's just give it a moment to finish to see if it'll complete it entirely. Okay, so we did change our theta to plus equal 0 0.005, and we see that the image is more clear. There's still some dots towards the center, mm -hmm. but we're missing a lot of petals, so it doesn't look like a complete flower. So let's try changing our if statement inside of the draw function. So we know that theta has to be at least greater than 2 pi in order to go full rotation around, but let's try in this case, it doesn't, so let's try changing it to 4 pi. So, if theta is greater than 4 pi, it's going to stop, and it's going to create the PNG file. So okay. hopefully, 4 is our magic number. Let's see what happens. Okay guys, so it looks like the flower c is complete and mm -hmm. the mathematical way of looking at if the flower is complete is if it ends at the same point as it starts, we said it, it's completed and it's it be it started right here and it's it didn't end there. So yeah. after it got to that point, it kept going and going. So how do we make it stop exactly at the point it started at? That's guys for you to solve because we don't want to be waiting for it to go over that point and keep it going. We <laughs> yeah. want to stop right as it finishes drawing the flower. Mm -hmm. So we can have a nice pretty flower for whatever we need it for. So that should be a fun challenge for everyone at home to figure out what pi needs to be multiplied to in order to stop exactly where it started at. So we know that if we set theta greater than 2 pi, it doesn't complete the flower. Mm -hmm. If we set it greater than 4 pi, it runs past that point and keeps going, so let's try something between 2 and 4, which is 3. three. So what happens if we set theta greater to 3 pi? Okay, so close to... And it stopped exactly where it started, Yay. so we know that for this specific case, where we have n equal to 17 and d equal to 3. If we said theta greater than 3 pi, it's going to stop exactly where it started. Yay! So now you guys know what it's supposed to look like, and you can go home and try to figure out what it looks like for your particular um, situations of n and d. So as you guys see here, 3 is what solves this particular problem but the challenge for you guys at home is to figure out what number times pi will work for all possible combinations that you can think of and thanks for watching hey bye, bye.